In News Extra on this All-Star Night, the struggle to get out of the Bush Leagues and into the Big Leagues every day. Thousands of minor league players take the field in ballparks all over America, trying to bat and field their way right up to the majors. Channel 2's Laurie Meddy is here with a story of players in our area who are trying to prove that dreams really do come true. Larry? Bill, we've all had it. The dream of playing Major League Baseball. Any boy who's felt a bat sting his hands as he cracked the fastball to left or rubbed down a ball as he stared down the kid at the plate has had the dream. For most, the dream fades early. We become salesmen or lawyers or reporters. Others carry their dream all the way into their 20s and all the way to Kane County to the field of dreams. A baseball field in Iowa where dreams come true. It makes for wonderful movie fantasy. But in Geneva, Illinois, there is a real field of dreams. Young men come here from all over the world to join the Kane County Cougars. Their dream, to make it to the major leagues. It's just a big dream for everybody. I mean, there's a million kids playing baseball every day, and there's only 10 or 20 of them that are ever going to make it to the major leagues. So I got to get ready to rock and roll. When your fuel is a dream, you run full speed. This is baseball the way it ought to be. No big money, no big egos, just baseball. And the fans love it. When you're getting paid $5 million, you don't need to run out everything. These guys, if they don't run out a base hit or something, they're going to be uh, going home tomorrow. So these guys know that they got to play or, or else. The major leagues could learn a lesson or two from the Kane County Cougars. Just about every game is a sellout. And unlike most big league teams, the Cougars turn a profit. We can't drive into Chicago to see the Cubs or the White Sox. We used to in the old days, can't afford it anymore. So this is here and there are boys for the summer and we give them our, our love and our best. I bake cookies for them. But don't get the wrong idea, it isn't just one big love fest for these young men. You don't have to make a big scene. I'm seeing, I'm, I'm looking Goody. right at you. The pitcher is throwing home and you're back to the home plate. Welcome to the A-League, the bottom rung in professional baseball. You either move up or move back home, and it has to happen quickly. It's a human recycling center. A lot of people, including myself, probably won't be able to make it to the big leagues. They, they say like four, uh, one out of every ten people make it to the big leagues, in the minor leagues. From this level? Yeah. yeah. So that's not too many, but this is like the start of a dream. You said including yourself. Does that mean it starts well, to sink in? Yeah, you know, you re start realizing that you got to be prepared for maybe life after baseball. Nobody knows those odds better than Mike Pomeranz. At 25, he's the oldest player in the Midwest League. He reminds you of the aging minor leaguer Kevin Costner played in Bull Durham. There's something romantic about that, though. It's like being the uh, Crash Davis of the league. <laughs> That's awful flattering of you. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm just uh, hoping I can help the team win. <laughs> I'm bringing along the young guys. He laughs it off, but there's sadness in his eyes. Soon baseball will be over, and he'll have to grow up. The final score, the Kane County Cougars score. The Peoria Chiefs, nothing. We're back right after this break. The Cougars win again. But for most of the players, it doesn't really matter. Only the memory is important when the dream fades away. Baseball brings the promise of eternal youth. Ask any of the minor leaguers why they want to keep playing, and they'll tell you they don't want to grow up. They don't want to go out into the real world. They want to continue to live a dream. Bill, Linda? Nice piece. Thanks, Thanks. Larry.